Okay, Scott, thank you for bringing SICE here to Oshkosh. What are you showing the people off today? Um, you know, SICE really got founded in, in addressing an age-old industry problem, and that was accurate fuel level in GA. And we all know that because, uh, well, some of us who have been flying for a long period of time have experienced it. And the other thing is that everybody in the world knows because it's a movie icon. It's, so, it's such a bad problem that every movie that you see, when there's a problem with the airplane, they're tapping on fuel gauges. We thought, you know, it might be time for a change. So you know, right around 2010, Cirrus approached us and said, hey, we're having issues with fuel quantity. Could you help us? But, oh, by the way, it's got to fit in the same hole. It's got to perform the same function. It's got to interface with the same avionics we already have. So we came up and looked uh, at different solutions, but we came up with this float idea. Well, let's retain the float, but then let's pair that with modern technology. Right here is the internal sensor assembly inside the unit. What we have in the fuel tank is not electrically connected to what is actually outside the fuel tank. So that sparks or things that originate in your wiring don't actually find their way in the fuel tank. That's a new FAA requirement, but it's also something that would be safe for legacy aircraft. So it's this sensor is driven off a set of magnets at the rotor. And the magnetic field direction is measured through the aluminum body of the sender, so that keeps the electronics out of the fuel. So if I wanted to put this in an airplane, how would I go about doing this? Is this ready for general aviation use? Yeah, we have a very comprehensive STC that covers 99% of the GA fleet, and we interface with a variety of aftermarket engine gauge options. Typical in a medium-sized low-wing aircraft, you'll end up with two fuel senders. One will be at the inboard or lower portion of the tank, and one will be at the outboard. They have to combine together to measure all the fuel in the aircraft. And you could actually extend that out. We could have more senders. But what it's showing is that we have raw data for each of the individual senders, and then what people would normally associate with a fuel gauge. And we're able to illustrate that we're able to take out damping and vibrations and fuel movement, as well as provide a very consistent, you can see there's this scum or line on here, and it's absolutely perfect. It shows the level of accuracy we're able to achieve with the system. We know that SICE improves fuel level accuracy. What's the benefit of that to pilots? Well, interestingly, my father thought I'd be sued you know, within the first year by pilots running out of fuel. But after we've installed, it's probably now approaching 80,000 fuel centers in the field and, and over 14 or 15,000 aircraft, we've yet to have a fuel starvation or exhaustion event. And so it's proving out that if pilots have accurate information in the cockpit related to their fuel state, they seem to make much better decisions about finding their way to a runway versus a highway or a field.